this video, I'm going to solve the problem third from chapter 26. An electrical cable consists of 63 strands of fine wire, each having 2.65 micro ohm resistance. The same potential difference is applied between the ends of all the strands and the results in the total current of 0.75 ampere. So here we have three questions. The first question is, what is the current in each strand? And the second question is, what is the applied potential difference? And the third one is, what is the resistance of the cable? So here we have to answer one by one. So before that, I would like to write what is given in the question. So here you have the cable. This cable have 63 small wires. That means it's a combination of 63 wires, small fine wire. So if you just take these 63 together, it's formed on complete cable. So this cable have 63 strands. So total strands in this wire in this cable is 63. So total strands are here 63. And its resistance, each strands have the resistance of 2.65 micro ohm, which is 2.65 multiply 10 power minus 6 ohm. And the current here they mentioned as 0 0.75 ampere. So these are all the three informations given here. So now I'm going to answer one by one. So what is the first question? What is the current in each strand? So here current, we know the rule. So what is the current? Current is already given. The most important thing, this cable consists of 63 strands. So how we can find the current? For getting the answer for the first part, current in each strand is equal to the current value, which is 0 0.75 divided by the total strands, because here the total strand is 63. Am I right? So if you want to find the current in each strand, we have to divide the current with 63 by that we will get the answer for the first question. So therefore, I is equal to 0 0.75 divided by 63. We got the answer here as 11.9 multiply 10 power minus 3 ampere. That means each wire, in each wire, the current carries the value of 11.9 multiply 10 power minus 3 ampere. So this is the answer for the first question. Clear? Now we have to go to the second question. What is the applied potential difference? So that means we are going to find the voltage. So for getting the answer for the B part, I'm going to use the Ohm's law voltage, which is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance. So here current for each strand is 11.9. So I have to use this. So 11.9 multiply 10 power minus 3 multiply with the resistance in each strand is 2.65. I think we have to see one more time. So the resistance here is 2.65 micro ohm. So 2.65 multiply 10 power minus 6. We got the potential V is equal to 3.15 multiply 10 power minus 8 volt. So this is the answer for the second part. And third part. What is the resistance of the cable? So we are going to find the resistance because here we have 63 strands, right? So we have to find the value of the resistance. again. So here the resistance, we need the current as well as the voltage, right? So therefore the third part, again, I'm going to use the rule voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance therefore resistance which is equal to voltage over current the voltage i am going to take the answer from the b part which is 3.15 multiplied 10 power minus 8 over the current value i think 11.9 multiplied 10 power minus 3 
9 multiply 10 power minus 3 here we got the answer as 2.65 multiply 10 power minus 6 ohm because this value this is just for cross checking we have to cross check our answer right so for that purpose i just use this you no need to do this calculations because i just want to confirm whether our resistance value which is given in the question is right or not that's what i just check here but here we are going to find the resistance therefore resistance which is equal to this value which value the value which is given in the question 2.65 multiply 10 power minus 6 over how many strands we have in the cable 30 sorry 63 right so the resistance here we got as 4.5 2, 1, multiply 10 power minus 8. Oh, so this is the answer for this question. That's it. Thank you.